Okay, uh, folks, this is a fun one here today. What we've created is a windmill. You can see my windmill right now is currently stopped. Uh, this is the code I used. As you can see, I have it on a forever, and then I used an if, and then uh, obviously you guys can see it says if button A is pressed, then continuous servo motor zero uh, is run at 100%. And I have it uh, just a little thing <clears throat> here that looks like wind. And you can see I put it like as a little animation and uh, add that loop in there like four times and then an else. So if button B is pressed, then it's going to stop the servo. It's going to clear the screen and then it's going to show the icon of a small square. So you can see right now it is stopped. You can see that small square there. If I press button A, you can see my windmill moves. You can see a little animation of wind and that's all good and great. And if I press my button B, windmill stops and it goes to my square indicating that it is stopped. All right, hope you guys have fun building your windmill. Uh, if you have any questions on the layout or design, you can see I have this built here with uh, Legos. I'll try to give you a better image. And you can see I have the wires here of my continuous servo motor. I sent the wires down through the center. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know and I'll help you out. Have fun.